it's DJ Case UK and in this video I'm going to show you how you can uninstall plugins so that ACID Pro no longer loads them that will prevent crashes if you prevent ACID Pro from loading them so to do that so you can see here I've got um, a couple of plugins on in my plugin folder here they all are and we can see these listed here now some of them haven't worked so if you click on this failed folder you can see these two haven't loaded at all I've ignored these ones because they don't do anything uh, this one just doesn't display anything this one does display something but it's not really a plugin which I'm going to use so I want to get rid of it this one doesn't display anything and this one doesn't display anything and I think that's because these are Cubase plugins so it's not something that I'm going to need in ACID Pro so the correct way to remove these then if you have plugins which can be uninstalled then you should uninstall them if they're ones which you can just drop into your VST folder then you can just delete them what you'll notice is when you go into ACID Pro and load these so they've gone from here but they're now showing in this unavailable folder these two failed they're the ones I've ignored and all of these are now showing in unavailable even though I've deleted the files it still remembers that they were in ACID Pro so what I'm going to show you is how you can get rid of all of these so to do that you need to have your C drive users click on your username and you need this folder here which is called app data and by default this will be hidden so you need to go to organize folder search options view and then this option here hidden files and folders make sure that you show hidden files and folders uh, by default it says don't show them so make sure that that's selected and click OK so go into app data folder and go into local and Sony now these two folders here are user folders so anything that you do inside ACID Pro will go into your local data here so if you delete these and also go into your Roman app data so app data and then Roman click Sony and delete this one as well and you'll notice what that does when you go into ACID Pro again is it will completely reset ACID Pro's memory so it pretty much goes back to how it was when it was first installed so all of these plugins which I ignored they're back again however there's nothing now in ignored or unavailable they've been completely removed and it's really important to do this because if there's no memory of them inside ACID Pro it's less likely to cause problems with ACID Pro so then what I like to do is ignore these ones which don't do anything so this FFD show audio decoder I just right click and ignore these this Microsoft MPEG encoder get rid of these ignore 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 and these WM ones as well now these basically come with Windows and ACID Pro so although they show up they won't do anything um, I mean I can just show you what one of them does um, if you try to add it into your project just say plug plugin can't be run 
so as I say it's best to just right click and ignore those so that you don't accidentally click on them and also it gives you a cleaner layout you can see which ones work a lot easier so it's a lot more organized you can just see the list of plugins you've got much clearer and they'll just be there in your ignored folder so there you go that's how to correctly uninstall plugins so that they're no longer in ACID Pro and prevent any crashes from plugins which don't work that's it for this video thanks for watching See you on the next video.